Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today's video is going to be all about school supply lists. If you're a new teacher and you have no idea what to put on your back to school supply list before Meet the Teacher Night, I have a couple of tips. So I thought I would share with you guys what I put on my class supply list this year and just show you everything that is on it and then go from there. I also have a couple of things hiding back here that I'm gonna haul for you. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna share with you guys what I put on my class supply list. Should I take my glasses off? Can you guys see okay? Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. So on my class supply list, I actually just went to Walmart today because every year I like to buy pretty much everything that I ask my students to get. That way I have a model of what they should have and then when I ask them to use these items in class, I also have a model um, to use myself. So I'll just go down the list of all the things that I required. And I worked with the other fourth grade teacher to put this list together, but we do have different styles of teaching and different styles of organization. So we do have separate sections on here. So I'm just going to show you guys. Um, it says suggestions for community use. So these are all of the things that both teachers are requesting the students bring. A box of number two pencils sharpened. Obviously, if they don't bring them sharpened, we're not gonna get mad at them. A box of 12 colored pencils, a box of glue sticks, a package of large pink erasers, one package of dry erase markers, blue or black, a spiral notebook, 70 pages wide ruled with binder holes, composition notebooks, four, um, a box of tissues, pencil sharpener for enclosed an enclosed shavings catcher, that's for the other teacher only. I do not allow personal sharpeners because they just sit there and sharpen their pencils all day. A box of 24 crayons, a bottle of white glue, two highlighters in two different colors, a ream of copy paper, a one multi-subject spiral notebook with dividers, so that's like those five subject notebooks, um, and then four folders um, with a solid color with a center fastener and two inside pockets. That is not mine either. So then it goes down to say, so I'll just show you guys what this looks like. So it has community items here and then it says Mrs. Valdez only. So this is what I require. I require a one, one and a half to two inch three ring binder, one pack of subject dividers, three black and white composition notebooks, one multi-subject spiral notebook with dividers, so that's that five subject notebook. One pencil bag with binder holes, three folders with binder holes and pockets, green, blue, and red only. And then one single subject spiral notebook with binder holes. And then also says down here that donations of any of the following items are also greatly appreciated. Um, Clorox wipes, index cards, sticky notes, Ziploc bags, scissors, markers, um, and then it says, do not label these items as they will be used for community use. So any of the items that they purchase above, like glue sticks, colored pencils, crayons, all of that gets put into the community bins. So when I create um, bins for like group work, I put all of the supplies in those bins. That way I can just put these bins on the tables and they all share. There's no like, those are my crayons, those are my markers. No. If you're gonna bring markers and crayons and colored pencils to school, they will be community use. If you buy them for yourself and you wanna use them for yourself, take them home and leave them there. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I purchased to be my model supplies for my students. So the first thing is this pencil bag. This is not from Walmart, this is from Target. Um, we found it in the back to school section and I'm using this one for my binder. In this pencil bag, the students will keep a pencil and a whiteboard marker and their whiteboard eraser. Um, their binder is acting as their desk because I do flexible seating, so it makes it easier for the students to have everything with them that they need. So this is one of the items that I require my students to bring. It has to have the binder holes so that they can clip it in their binder. It should not be loose. If it is, I will ask parents to go get a different one. And after the first like couple days of school, I'll probably go out and get a couple like from the dollar section just in case some students didn't get the right one um, because it is very essential for them to have them in their binders or it's not going to be organized. So this is the first item. Next, I went ahead and purchased a binder. This is just a one and a half inch binder with the um, clear pouch thing. And I'm hoping that they all bring them with these clear 
things so that I can put like a thing in there that labels it and then we put like all their passwords and stuff in the back. But this is acting as a student's desk. So all of their work, all of their materials, they will all be in here. Notes, handouts, every, everything will be in here. And then of course they could use it as a desktop if they're sitting on the floor taking notes or during math time. So I bought that. Next I bought the three folders that I require. A green, a red, and a blue. The green one is used for classwork, anything unfinished. The red one is used for center work and small group. And then the blue one, I forget what the blue one is for, but I'll, if I remember, I'll put it down there. But um, the students also get a Wednesday folder from the school, which will be doubling as a Wednesday folder and a homework folder so that they don't have to worry about taking more than one folder home. So we have classwork, unfinished work, um, center work and small group and then whatever this one is for I don't remember I think it might be for like handouts or, I don't remember so anyway I do require these three colors they have to be red green and blue they cannot be like Lisa Frank or like zebra stripe no they have to be these colors so if the students bring them in those colors I just kindly ask can you please go get and sometimes I'll go and buy like a couple more of these in that that color so that I can trade them and I'll just say okay give me yours and I'll give you this one and then it's done this is not on my list but I did buy it for myself because I plan on using this for like dibbles and data I purchased two different types of dividers this one I thought was really cool. It's an eight tab white and erase divider, write and erase. So it looks like it's kind of a, you can write on them and then erase it. So if they make mistakes, I don't know. I just thought this would be cool for me to use for dividing things in my professional binder. And then I got these ones to put in my model binder. It's just the eight tab dividers with pockets. I like that it has pockets for me personally being the teacher. So I can put like master copies in there for anything that I teach. If I'm like not done or something, I can just put it in that tab and then it's saved for me. So I loved that. And then I also grabbed this little one half, this little half inch binder to put my um, uh, genuine teaching planner in because I plan to print out all the plans and then put them in this binder so that I have them throughout the year. They're just, they could just continue to stack up. So it's just this really skinny one and that's for me, it's not for them. So these are mine. And then I also picked up, so here is the, here's the 70 page spiral notebook with the binder holes. And then I picked up the three composition notebooks. One of these notebooks is going to be for their reading response journal. This one will be sliced in half by Home Depot. The top half will be math vocabulary. The bottom half will be ELA vocabulary. And then this one will be their science social studies interactive notebook. Then I grabbed the five subject. This is college ruled, it doesn't matter. These are for literature studies. I like to have everything kind of split up. I like to do about five literature studies a year, so it's perfect to organize them by, by story. Um, so the first section will be the first lit study, the second section will be the second lit study. That way they can keep everything in here and they just turn this binder in. Um, and then when we're not doing lit studies, we can just store them on a bookshelf and it's done and out of the way. And then I, that's all that I got that was on my list. I didn't buy like crayons or anything like that because they will bring those. and. This is just so that I have an example of what they need to have. But then I also found a couple other things at Walmart that I wanted. For example, I always grab these when they're on sale. They were a dollar, um, just hand sanitizer. I do ask that the kids bring these as a donation. So hopefully they will. If they don't, I just got a couple for a dollar. And then last year, some little ninja took my tape dispensers and took the like circular things in them out and hid them or did something with them. So these were on sale for like $3.99 at Walmart. So I just grabbed two tape dispensers um, and they're just gonna be in my desk. They're not gonna be out this time because people like to seal, so. And then this thing I'm really excited about. So I found this in the back to school section and it's called a latch matches storage box and it has latches on it and a handle and when you take the lid off it has this inside of it 
and then this whole bin. So I was thinking maybe I could use this for like my teaching station. I could put all the things that I need at my teaching station in here and then like I can keep other things in this. That or small group, I'm not sure yet. Or I could make this a center, like if I ever have a center that requires different materials. But it was $7 and it's teal so it matches like almost everything else that I bought for my classroom that's teal. Um, so I grabbed that, I don't know, we'll see. We'll use it for something. And then I got a phone charger because I've been having to take my real charger with me in the car because my phone has reached that point where it's just no longer charging or holding a charge for long. So I just grabbed that. Okay, now onto these things back here that I purchased. Okay, so I picked up a couple more of these white books from Target. I plan to use these for autobiographies. Uh, we write autobiographies the second week of school and then I figured it would be a cute Christmas gift to save for their parents and they can work in these, color them. So I grabbed three packs of those. I already had two packs, so I just needed three more. And then I grabbed these happy birthday certificates from Target. I still don't really know what I'm planning to do for birthdays. I usually don't really make a huge deal out of birthdays. I would like to maybe get like some full-size candy bars or something and just put them with these. And then maybe do like a special chair in the room. I usually let them wear my cape. Um, but I grabbed these because I just didn't have anything for birthdays and I didn't feel like making anything, so these are great. Then I grabbed this notebook from TJ Maxx. It was $4.99. I love how it's got cactus on it or cacti on it. Uh, it matches my Erin Condren planner. Not perfectly, but similar. And I use these for like staff meetings, IEP meetings, basically any meeting that I go to where I need to take notes and then that way I have it for the year and I can refer back to it. So I bought that. And then I found these at TJ Maxx. They're totally not necessary, but they were really cute. And they're just these little file folders. I think there's like lemon, watermelon, and pineapple in here. And I thought these would be really cute to just organize my professional items, like all my certificates and just like memos and paperwork that I need to do. Um, these are just gonna be for me. They're not gonna be for like student files or anything like that, just for me. And that's it. Okay, so that is what I put on my supply list every school year, and it works for me. The whole binder idea with flexible seating, I'm hoping will work. I just, last year I tried the bins. I don't, I don't know if you guys have been watching me that long, but I had the bins last year, and they worked really well, but the problem was is like they would get knocked over, kids would keep trash in them, they would keep like stuff in there, and I just don't want them to have stuff. I want them to be confined to a binder and just a little pencil pouch so that they can't have a bunch of stuff with them and they have to keep them organized. And the binder will be used as a quarterly grade. They will turn the binder in every quarter for me to check for organization. And I figured it would be a great way for them to keep handouts, for them to keep information I give them, um, just to keep everything really, really organized because they will not have desks. So yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. I'm sorry for my rugged appearance. I'm not putting makeup on today. It is way too hot. And yeah, that's all I've got. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, concerns, please do not hesitate to comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.